Mass Effect Andromeda in 10 minutes. Um, spoilers. So it's 2172, and a human billionaire known as Jin Garson found a crazy plan to travel to a new galaxy for colonization, an ambitious endeavor to a new galaxy known as Andromeda. Science teams are tasked with finding golden worlds, of which several are found for each Milky Way race. Development gets underway for multiple ships, including the Nexus, a central hub for the initiative, like a citadel, and the four or five Arcs, one for each major race, other than the Krogan. The Arcs undergo testing which causes concern amongst the galactic governments about the motives of the initiative in the Milky Way. The Nexus and the four Arcs depart in 2185, of which a second wave of races scheduled to arrive later in a fifth arc known as the Quarian Arc, which is also holding Drell, Elcor, and Hanna. 2185 is the same year that collectors began abducting colonists, therefore one year before the full Reaper invasion. Jin Garson, the founder, ends up bankrupt and a mysterious benefactor contributes to the remaining funding. They escalate numbers traveling to the galaxy to 100,000 colonists as they are spooked by the Reaper threat. Cue the 600 year old journey to the Helios Cluster. During this time the arcs become separated creating as much as a 14 month distance between each one. From around 2500 an unknown energy phenomenon is released into the Helios Cluster known as the Scourge, causing for inhabitants there to go into a dark age. Enter Ryder, a recon specialist, who awakes after a 600 year long journey from cryostasis. Ryder's twin, either male or female, has their stasis pod damaged due to a ship system failure. Alec Ryder, their father, is a pathfinder, an expert in science, combat and leadership tasked with exploration in Andromeda and finding a home for their colonists. Each arc has one pathfinder. I am crash land on Habitat 7, the expected human golden world, where the world is now extremely hazardous. Introduce the scanner, jetpack and the new combat structure. Gain first two squad mates, Liam Costa, a crisis specialist, and Cora Harper, a biotic commando. Make first contact with Ket, a race that travelled to the Helios cluster, but aren't too friendly. Alec Ryder notes that some strange vault system is causing for the hazardous environment and interfaces with this structure, creating an explosion. Alec unfortunately dies and he gives you the Pathfinder role, meaning he transferred also his connection of an implant AI known as Sam to Ryder. Next you encounter the Nexus and all hell is broken loose due to the ship hitting the Scourge and the leaders of the Nexus are found dead where now a Salarian, Jaren Tan is leader, who was once seventh in line to take over. Meet someone with a tired face. Sorry, my face is tired from dealing with everything. Find out that none of the seven Golden Worlds have worked out. There's been no sign or contact from the other four arcs. The Nexus has had an uprising due to colonists being treated poorly and not guessing what was promised. So, there's outlaws and pirates everywhere. Recruit Vetra, a drifter mercenary. Meet your new ship, the Tempest, the crew, and pilot, Carlo Jaff. Travel to Eos, where two initiative outposts have already failed, and hazards are again everywhere. Welcome the new Mako. Strange vault structures are dotted around the planets, causing for the downfall of the environment, related to a robotic mysterious race known as the Remnant. Meet squadmates PB and Drac. Incoming! <laughs> Hi. Escape the death cloud of doom upon activating the remnant vault via Sudoku, causing for the hazards to disappear completely. Next stop, Aya. Encounter the Ket leader, the Archon, who's been following you to study into how Alec Ryder interfaced with remnant technology of which the secret is Sam. Escape using the Scourge to your benefit by Sam's calculations in Carlo's driving. Luckily end up at the destination anyway, and meet a new race, the Angara. Meet the Angara leadership, then recruit Jarl, a resistance fighter, and the trust of the Angara via fetch quests on two Angaran worlds. On Haval, the Angaran homeworld, 
activate the vault and fight off the Rokar. Find out the cat acted as a wolf in sheep's clothing and backstabs the Angara. You find crashed escape pods from the Turian Ark and meet Avatus Rix, an ex-Turian spectre for the Citadel Council. Further travel to Vold, an icy world that used to have lush gardens, again screwed around with due to another remnant vault. Infiltrate a Ket facility and learn about the process of exaltation. The Ket are actually processed versions of other races like the Angara via a ritual and a serum and is a strategy created by the Ket across galaxies to strengthen their own army. Save the Moshai, a notable Angara, and either destroy the facility or save the Angaran prisoners. Find Turian Ark, save those in stasis, persuade Avatus Rix to become the next Turian Pathfinder. Find Asari Ark, save Asari, decide who becomes the next Asari Pathfinder. Find out information on the Ket flagship on Kadara. Assault the Archon's flagship and find the Salarian Ark attached to the ship. Infiltrate and work with the Salarian Pathfinder Zevin Raker. Archon traps Pathfinder and Co and injects Ryder with a serum. Sam kills and then revives Ryder to get him out of this trap. Choose between saving the Salarian Pathfinder or Drax Krogan Scouts. Battle Exalted Krogan. Find the map of Meridian, which is a hollow sphere protecting a controlled and malleable environment. It's the hub of the vault network you encounter throughout the worlds, therefore holds great power. Find out Jin Garson didn't die in the Scourge contact but was actually murdered by an unknown individual. Sibling wakes up from cryostasis. Find out that Alec Ryder put Ryder's mother, Ellen, in cryo on the human arc in hope that Andromeda lies a cure for her degenerative disease. Travel to Kytasira to find Meridian. Eventually find out that Meridian isn't there, and it turns out it's just a command core. Meridian had already been jettisoned to safety. Here, you also find out that the Angara and Remnant are man-made creations of a species that disappeared called the Jardan. All we know is they inhabited the Helios Cluster around 400 years ago, before vacating completely leaving no trace. After a conflict they had with an unknown race, a weapon was detonated on a Jardan space station that caused the scourge in Helios. They also sent Meridian adrift into this cluster. When the vaults are properly connected to Meridian, they function as normal. As the connection to Meridian was severed, this is why all the Golden Worlds haven't panned out. Archon infiltrates Ryder's connection with Sam via the prior injection. The Ket attack the human arc and capture Ryder's sibling for their Sam implant. Next stop, we have the Meridian Vault Network. The Archon has interfaced with an architect due to his control over Sam. Fight Remnant whilst dodging the architect attacks. Disable the relays to lower the connection the Archon has and pull the power of Meridian from under the Archon and become the hero that saved the galaxy, but in a less cool way than Shepard did. Three times. You know it. With Helios safe, grab the popcorn, put your feet up, and watch a movie with your crew. Get reminded about the Quarian Ark. Find out the Ark is experiencing issues that they don't need any help with yet. Get your hopes up that this will make a Quarian Ark DLC. Get let down. You are then spoiled to a scene of the Archon second in command, the Primus, walking angrily out of camera. Turns out the Archon wasn't the leader of the Ket, but only those in Helios, but reports to a much larger Senate. Sorry Ryder, but it looks like you've got your work cut out for a bit. But maybe take the time to chill out for a bit first, and go back for another 10 years in cryo, and then you can make a triumphal return and break the ice. <laughs> get it? Because Mass Effect is on ice? Okay, I'll stop now. Mm -hmm.